Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2015, Day 2. Can you believe that Christmas is right around the corner? Well, today I thought I'd share an easy recipe that has the taste of the holiday into something that I really enjoy more at the seafood restaurants than anything else. And it's hush puppies. Can you imagine that deep fried gingerbread? Yes, that's right. Today we're going to be making gingerbread hush puppies. Can you imagine that? It's a great appetizer that you can share with your family or serve maybe with some ham. It's up next, my gingerbread hush puppies on Trailer Park Christmas 2015. I'll be right back. And welcome back to Trailer Park Christmas. Now today we're making a gingerbread hush puppy. Now, I know that sounds unusual, but it has the taste of the holiday and something deep fried, which is always great around the holidays, too. These are great as a side dish or like a bread item for a holiday dinner, or you can use them as appetizers with some exotic dipping sauces or some mustards or something like that, or some melted butter, which they're always good in. I've got a large egg white here. We're going to put it in the bowl. I've got some dark molasses, and we've used this before in other episodes, so you can use it in all sorts of recipes. It gets around, and I've got a teaspoon. There we go. It's okay if it went over a little bit, because it just adds a nice dark flavor to these hush puppies. And I've got a tablespoon of honey, and I collect honey. When I go to different places with travel, I pick up honey because it just has all different types out there and you just get them regionally and they do make great gifts around the holiday. There we go and I've got five tablespoons of milk and that's just whole milk that goes right on in there and you need one and a half teaspoons of prepared mustard. This is just around the like the picnic time kind of mustard so I don't really measure that yet. We're gonna whisk this together and I'll check back with you in just a moment. And we're back. We mixed up the egg white mixture. Now I'm going to add one fourth cup of yellow cornmeal to this. There we go. Now this is five tablespoons of all purpose flour. Now that goes right on in there just like that. And this is five tablespoons of whole wheat flour. Right on in there. That makes a nice texture and a look with that. Now this is the holiday spices. This is ground cloves. Now, many of you know this spice from poking the cloves in oranges. And surprise, you've got a closet air freshener. That's a great gift. We could do that sometime. This is ginger. This is one-fourth cup of that. That's real popular in Chinese food. But that just makes the gingerbread taste. And this is cinnamon. I prefer Saigon cinnamon. It just has a great taste to it. And... That's one fourth teaspoon. And we've got baking powder. That's going to be one fourth teaspoon right on into the mixture, just like that. And one fourth teaspoon of salt. Look how easy that is. There we go, right on into the mixture. Now we're going to mix this up. This is going to make the batter. We're going to have to get the oil ready. And of course, we're going to have to be careful with that because we live in a trailer and oil fires are not a good thing. So let me mix this up and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we're mixing up our batter. Just an update. I figured out the recipe just a little bit better. It's two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and two tablespoons of whole wheat flour. That makes a better batter and a, a very consistent hush puppy. I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, welcome back. 
Making the gingerbread hush puppies is the deep frying method, which uses hot oil, and you have to be really careful in your trailer with it. We've got it up to about 375 degrees, and I've got a tablespoon measurement right here, and what we're going to do is just drop the batter into the oil very carefully by tablespoon measurements. There we go. Until they're kind of dark, golden brown, but not burnt. We don't want burnt ones. There we go. Get some batter into that. And you can use metal tongs to move them around. And we're going to dry them on a paper towel. You can turn them over just like that. Mmm, it already smells like the holiday. And we're just going to let these go a little bit, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, once they have cooked up a little bit right here, till they've got some nice brown on them, you can just dry them off on a paper towel plate. There we go. There we go. And we can just start some more while we've got the oil going and finish up this batch. Now you can make probably a nice spicy sauce to serve with these, but most people just like melted butter. That's really good. And just put them tablespoon wise right on in there. And they're just going to pop right on up there and cook. And I'm going to finish this batch and check back with you in just a moment. And there you have it, my gingerbread hush puppies. Aren't those unusual? And mmm, they smell like the holidays. There's nothing like something fried for the holidays. And these will certainly make a great side dish or maybe just an appetizer for a party that you have because these are so unusual. I'm sure you can make a glaze for them. And I just can't wait to try them to see what they're like. Mmm, taste that gingerbread flavor, and it tastes like a hush puppy, too, and, you know, it might be unusual, but I think I'd like to dip this into cocktail sauce, but I think that there might be people out there that would like to make some sort of sweet glaze for them. I mean, there's so many things that you could do with these, and wow. These certainly are an unusual treat, especially around the holidays. I hope you get a chance to make my gingerbread um, hush puppies. And if you do, send me pictures at jolinesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to visit trailerparkchristmas.com and download the free calendar that you can follow along because I am doing 25 days of food, videos, and even some crafts too. And I see tomorrow, that's day three, that it says gelatin surprise. And that certainly is a tradition in the trailer park. Gelatin. I mean, that will make you stand out in a crowd if you bring a gelatin dish. So I'm bringing gelatin back tomorrow. So hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. Add me as a friend on Instagram, uh, Facebook. I'm all over the place. Look for me. And I'm so happy to spend the holidays with you with Trailer Park Christmas 2015. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.